astăzi cruciale pentru următorii ani de mandat ai actualului președinte Joe Biden. Într-un ultim efort de a-și mobiliza votanții, liderul de la Casa Albă și predecesorul său, Donald Trump, au organizat mitinguri concurente. Este de așteptat ca democrații președintelui să piardă controlul Congresului în fața republicanilor. Acest lucru ar putea complica enorm funcționarea statului și ar zădărnici agenda lui Biden, pentru că ar exista un conflict permanent cu liderul de la Casa Albă. Rezultatul scrutunilor de astăzi s-ar putea repercuta și asupra războiului din Ucraina, pentru că tot mai mulți politicieni republicani cer reducerea ajutorului acordat Chievului. The President of the United States, Joe Biden. Today we face an inflection point, one of those moments that comes around every three or four generations. We know in our bones that our democracy is at risk, and we know that this is your moment to defend it, preserve or protect it, choose it. So it's going to shape what the next couple decades look like. Democracy is on the ballot. Poli political violence and intimidation are on the rise all across America. And you remember January 6th, the angry mob that stormed the U.S. Capitol, attacked law enforcement, hunted down elected officials, erected gallows to hang Vice President Pence. Who the hell do they think they are? <laughs> Folks, remember, the power's in your hands. This is the year we're going to take back the House, we're going to take back the Senate, and we're going to take back America. And in 2024, most importantly, we are going to take back our magnificent White House. Violent crime is out of control, and the far left is indoctrinating our children with twisted race and gender insanity in our schools like we've never even thought of before. This was never even thought of before. This country is going crazy. Every freedom-loving American needs to understand the time to stand up to this growing left-wing tyranny is right now. If you want to save your rights and liberties, you have to start by dealing a humiliating rebuke to the radical left in this election. I'm going to be making a very big announcement on Tuesday, November 15th, at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida.